In this step, we're going to add one final thing to our table together, which is going to be a book. And, to be perfectly honest, you won't really learn much new in this step specifically, but it does set us up for more variety when we're covering things like materials down the line. So it does serve a purpose. Anyway, let's jump into it. So I'm just going to turn off the furniture and also the room. And what I'm going to do is create a cube. This is going to form what our book will be. So I'll just rename it book straight away. And I would like to have some subdivisions on the height. So just two. I want the center line and you'll see why a little later. Then what we need to do is just using our scale tool, we want to get this into a pretty bookish shape. That's pretty bookish. That gets us started. Now what we want to do is work on the spine of the book. So we'll do that by going into edge mode and selecting the top and bottom long edge. And then we're going to bevel them. I'm going to add a couple of segments like that. That's pretty nice. So that's the spine done. Next we'll create the pages. So for that we need to go into face mode and we'll select all of these faces around the side apart from the spine. We're going to leave the spine alone. And then we need to do an extrusion. We're going to add a little offset, 0.1 should do it. Yep, and you can see that's created a bit of a border, added some thickness to our cover. Then we need to make sure that there's less thickness on these pages so that they're inset a little bit. So we're going to do that with another extrusion, extrude again, and we're going to go in on the thickness a little bit. So minus 0.3 actually looks quite nice there. Yep. So I'm happy with that. And now you're going to see what this center line was for. So back into edge mode, we want the pages to look like they're a bit curved as well. We'll do that by moving this center line in a little bit something like that that's obviously too jagged so we also need to bevel it so let's bevel that and we're going to add some segments to it and get the fraction to somewhere that we like so that was pretty nice and that then is a quickly created but very handsome book it's all as one object and what we need to do now is get this onto our table somewhere so let's turn back on the furniture we'll pop the book somewhere resembling the right place. What I'll do for this one, just to make my life a little easier, is I'm going to move the pivot point down to the bottom of the book. And that should mean that snapping it to the table is also easier. And then we can just scale it down and put it into place. What I want you to do is create an arrangement of a couple of books two, three, four books on the table just to make it look like there are a number of books. So I'll put one there, I'll duplicate it, and then let's move it over this way a little bit. We're going to rotate it around, and this one I want to look like it's leaning on the other book. Let's see, is that going to work? Perhaps. So we'll move it up a little bit. That looks good, and we'll move it across. How's that look? Mm, not happy with it. So now I'm going to rotate it just in my top view to something like that. That looks kind of nice. Uh, let's just try and get it in place. That looks good. And I think I'll try and add one more. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So we can leave that there for now. And I will see you in the next step for your final modeling challenge before we move on to creating some materials. So, see you in the next step. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.